when we're working in the laboratory, often we can get into uh, conventional thought processes and ways that we're trying to troubleshoot or, or attack problems. What we try to do is step outside of the lab and look around us to nature. I think that we're just surrounded by solutions and evolution is truly the best problem solver. And so we've been looking at different creatures in nature for concepts that we can then borrow. Sutures and staples have been used for decades with almost no innovation. And while there has been some attempts to develop different types of glues, they have extreme limitation. We've developed a, a tape that was inspired by porcupine quills. We've developed a, a surgical glue um, that can work inside a beating heart to potentially seal septal defects. So a number of babies are born with holes in their heart. And we have a glue that can, that can actually work in that very challenging environment. That was inspired by a number of creatures in nature that have viscous secretions that enable those secretions to stay on surfaces even in the presence of flowing water or, or other types of fluids. And when you shine UV light on that glue, it cures it in place. The glue remains elastic, but it's able to almost just like Velcro, it's like a tissue Velcro and achieves a very strong level of adhesion. Spider webs have regions of their web that are sticky, but then they also have regions of their web that are not sticky, which the spider uses to walk around its web. When babies are born too early, their skin is extremely fragile, and so they need all sorts of tubes attached to them to monitor their temperature, to monitor their heart rate. And so when you put traditional tapes onto the skin to attach tubes, those tapes actually have two components. There's a backing layer, which is what you see when the tape is on the skin, and this is typically paper or plastic. And then there's a thin layer of a glue. And the problem is, is when you remove that tape, the weakest part is not in the glue, it's actually in those children's skin. And so the skin breaks as you remove those tapes. What we did is we created a middle layer that actually was patterned just like the spider web and had adhesive and non-adhesive regions. And so by controlling those interactions, we were able to create a tape with three layers that could strongly attach tubes to skin, but when we wanted to remove that adhesive, we could pull the backing away from the glue. So we leave 100% of the glue on the skin. I feel as though you know, we're really at the tip of the iceberg in terms of the creatures that are out there and the potential concepts that we can mimic from those creatures. In nature, we have these blinders and they're just partly open and that's based on the tools that we have available to study those creatures that are in nature. And I think with time, those blinders are kind of being slowly taken away.